Hello, everybody, and welcome to Annie Talks. I'm your host, Annie Rivera, and I am on campus at my alma mater, Carson High School in the city of Carson. Annie Talks, Annie Talks. Welcome to the show. Here we go with Annie Talks. Annie Talks, Annie Talks. Welcome to the show. Here's the host. I am interviewing some of the cast of Beauty and the Beast, as well as the principal and some of the key people that made it all possible, the choreographer and the vocal director and the band and music director. So I will bring all of those wonderful interviews to you in just a few minutes, just so you know why this is such a special day for me, because first, I'm on my high school campus and here is where I got my start in musical theater and in performing. And it's also where I attribute a lot of my, I guess, performing arts and things that I like to do in the media and in showbiz and so on and so forth. So anyways, I wanted to bring this special interview to you because of the wonderful things that are happening here on campus and the performing arts program that they have going and ways for you all to be able to contribute. So stick around and here are the interviews. This is Annie Rivera with Annie Talks. I'm at Carson High School, my alma mater. Yes, everybody, indeed, my alma mater. And I am here with Marsha Barrity, who is the director at Carson High School. Can you talk about the program? Marsha, it was very nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, it's great to meet you. I started at Carson High School four years ago. Prior to here, I was at Dodson Middle School for 25 years. And the principal at Carson High, I had had her son as one of the leads in all of my shows. She asked me if I would come over here and start up their performing arts program and be the performing arts teacher for theater. And I'm teaching a world of music class also. And it was going to be starting from the very beginning, and it definitely is. We came into an auditorium that had nothing. There was a Perkins grant in which we were able to slowly but surely build up with spotlights, lights, a little bit of building into the stage. We have uh, some other lighting uh, facilities that are going to be coming in within the next month or so through the grant. So everything has been grassroots here. Uh, we started a parent group four years ago, which finally this year has really taken off. And we're just so grateful to have their support. Um, we basically survive on donations and any grants that I can apply for. This year, we were very lucky to get a, um, a, a grant to help with our costumes from the Flourish Foundation. We are excited because there's so much talent at Carson High School. And it's been a great place for the student who enjoys the theater and um, has never really had exposure to singing, dancing, theater, the arts. This year, for the first time, we had three finalists in the August Wilson Monologue Competition sponsored by Center Theater Group. There were approximately 100 to 200 students who auditioned and then it went down to 50 and then it went down to 12 and we had three finalists. And they were at Center Theater Group Mark Taper Forum March 5th. Today we're doing our final uh, production of Beauty and the Beast. We have a cast of close to 50 and about 15 um, stage crew students. We have a student orchestra with a couple of, of um, local artists who are, are helping us. Uh, we have, we're running a, a career tech education program. Um, my partner in crime is Gail Kadota, who is our CTE teacher, and I'm going for my CTE certificate. We're also fortunate to have the expertise of Marcy Fabre, who is our, um, our industry uh, partner through the Long Beach Convention Center. And without Marcy, I don't know what we do. She's been helping to... Um, train all the students in tech and Gail of course does the production and the technical education as well. So all in all it's a program that's taking off. We're trying hard to um, to really make the arts flourish here and it's 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 a it's a it's a challenge but I think it's judging from last night standing ovation of Beauty and the Beast I think we're doing the right thing. 
and the school and the faculty and the staff, I'm sure, are just thrilled to have you. And you've ma you're making a difference. You're definitely put putting Carson back on the map. From when I used to be here as well, way back in 84, 85, uh, we didn't have this kind of program. And I know that everybody here will definitely benefit from this. And your expertise and your leadership is definitely bringing them to the forefront. So we thank you for that. Well, thank you. And I just hope that everyone comes to Carson High School and sees the wonderful things that are happening here. We also participate in Drama Teachers Association Southern California. Um, we're lucky enough to have some guest artists come in. Vocal director for the show is Jolly Rodriguez. Our choreographer is Ray Garcia and assisted by uh, one of our teachers, George Dewar. I, I, and our pal president is Isela Ramirez. I just don't want to forget any of these wonderful people. So we've got some fabulous parents um, who are, you know, coming to the front. So um, I just encourage everyone to see what is going on at Carson High School. And I thank you very much for taking the time to be with us here. I'm here with Ray Garcia. Ray, it's very nice to meet you and very nice to have you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, too. So tell us about your role with Beauty and the Beast and, and how you've contributed in your choreography. Well, um, I was the choreographer for the show, and um, I worked with Marsha before on another show a couple of years ago, so she asked me to come back and do this, and I said, of course. Um, and basically what I did was I, I started in, uh, I think it was November, end of October, I started with the kids and we did workshops, like dance workshops first, just to kind of get them familiar with steps and the names of the steps and things like that. And um, we worked uh, once a week doing that, and then we started doing the show uh, in February, like chore choreographing the show in February. And I've just been working with the kids and on dance steps and trying to get the show together. And um, it's something that I enjoy, I love to do. I love working with kids, and these kids are great. and. Uh, you know, I remember when I was in high school, and I uh, we didn't do a lot of musicals in my high school, so yeah. I love the fact that they're doing musicals here and that the kids are involved and everyone is all always excited, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. How exciting it to see from soup to nuts, basically, see kids from, you know, no experience or very little experience and then bringing them to, you know, making them flourish. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the reasons I do this is for that. I mean, it, it, um, I love seeing kids who have never danced before, you know, have... They have issues at the beginning, obviously, because they've never danced. But then to see them get it and get it in their body and the faces they have when they get it and to see them do it on stage and in front of all, an audience, is, that's one of the main reasons I do it. I love that. That's that's an amazing thing to me. How has the performances been going? I, I'm sure it's like your baby. You're out there and you're just like a proud <laughs> papa. Well, you know, it, it, it's been going really well. And uh, I am. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of all the dance, all the kids in the show. And they've worked really, really hard. Um, you know, on Sundays too, when they didn't have to, you know, giving up their time to come and rehearse and stuff like that. So I'm very, very proud of them, and I'm very proud of all the work they've accomplished. So it's it's a good thing. What's next for you, Ray? Um, now I'm I'm uh, I'm working on a show at Universal Studios Hollywood right now. That's a, a special event that I just did, and I'm doing that. And then um, that's it. I I'm just you know part of the business entertainment business. You go on to the next gig. You look for the next gig. So for me, it's about. Um, putting my stuff out there again and try and find other work and uh, I'm also a photographer makeup artist so I do that on the side as well but I'm always looking for the next thing. How do we find you? Um, you can find my photography page it's RayGarciaPhotography.com or my makeup page it's MakeupByRay.net and I'm also on LinkedIn Ray Garcia. Perfect thank you so much very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you Annie thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Jolly Rodriguez who is the vocal vocal director yes here at <laughs> Wonderful. So, Jolly, tell us all about the production. How has this been for you to, to go through this journey with the rest of the with the with the cast? Um, you know what? I actually feel very close to this cast um, because um, you know some of them have had experience singing and, and dancing and acting, but a lot of them haven't actually, and um, which I think is is such a shame because you could see that they have a love for it, um, and so um, it's really something that I think that is really special because for some of them I've um, I've worked with their voices and have never um, they've never been a singer before, and so it's kind of like starting from scratch. Um, and I'm really, really, I'm really, really proud of everything they've accomplished. They've worked so hard on this sh on the show. So, like I asked Ray, how exciting is it for you to see um, to see the the students from soup to nuts, basically, you know, no experience, some experience, little experience, and then flourish into what they are right now? Oh. 
It's, it, it actually gets a little emotional. Um, I think that for, for me, as somebody who's trained as a singer and who's also um, sung or, or, or trained other people to sing, I feel like when it comes to singing, it's a little different than, um, than uh, learning other instruments because singing is a part of who you are. And so sometimes if somebody says something like, oh, I don't like their voice, it almost feels as if they're saying, I don't like you. And so I feel like when I see these kids and they're, they're singing their hearts, hearts out um, it makes me feel like they've gained confidence in who they are you know and and if you can if you can sing in front of a whole group of people you can learn to do anything and so I feel like it it makes me feel like they've accomplished so much and I'm just so proud that I could be a part of that journey because they're the ones doing the work I'm just guiding them they're the ones that are really putting in the work but they have a great mentor oh gosh well thank <laughs> you they have a lot of great mentors I mean you know the teachers here Mrs. Verity is amazing um, George Dewar Ray I mean everybody all the parents um, who have volunteered so many hours they're really great mentors and I think it's good that the kids see that that we work together that we work hard and I think it's a good life lesson for them to do too so how do people follow you? Oh, people follow me. Um, you know what? I, I actually don't have very much social media stuff. <laughs> However, I do have um, I do have an Instagram page that I allow my students um, and anybody else who's interested to follow. So that would be at Miss Jolly underscore. So M S J O L L Y underscore, and that's my public Instagram page. Great. Thank you. So it was very nice to, oh, meet, you. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Ryan. You I'm play? in. Uh, I'm, I play Maurice, and I'm in the um, fifth grade. Awesome, and you are? Hi, my name is Blake. I play Belle, and I'm also in 10th grade. Yay, 10th grade. Wow, and you are? Hello, my name is Sergio Ramos, and I am playing the character of Lamia, and I am a senior. <laughs> okay, very nice. And you are? And my name is Jason Pulido, and I play the Beast and the Prince, and I'm a senior. Okay, so for all of you guys, have you done musical theater before? Oh, yes. yes. I've done it before, yeah. yes. And then, so, first time for you? Really? Interesting. And then, so what do you do? You've done the musical I've theater I've done before? theater, but I normally do crew, so it's kind of fun to do oh, very both nice. sides. How was the audition to, for, for Belle? Was it nerve-wracking? Oh, there was a lot of women who definitely wanted it, and when they announced the role of who got it, it was a bit catty, but... The audition process was really fun because everyone worked together before we had the results. Awesome. And Lumiere. Yeah. Ah, Lumiere. Yes. You, are, you, are, you seem very well seasoned in, on theater. A theater is a, a normal for you. It's something that you love to do, obviously. Oh, yes. I really love doing theater. And mm -hmm. like this is like my second musical that I'm doing. Really? Mm -hmm. So when you were cast as Lumiere, how did that make you feel? Mm. I was like I felt happy. Yeah. Like I, I felt good. Like and like I felt confident in like that. Like my director trusted me with this role to plan it out to hold on to it. Awesome. And how much creative freedom have you had? Uh, I had a lot of time. Like a lot of time to be creative as my character awesome. developed being myself. Wonderful. And Beast. Hello. Have you done theater before? Yes, I've done theater before with this guy. With this guy? Yeah, the Wiz, we did The Wizard of awesome. Oz. Awesome. Yeah. You guys are doing such a fabulous job. Oh, How does it so feel much. to be cast? In, this is closing day for you. How does it make you guys feel? Oh, a little feels sentimental? So I feel oh. so sweet. Yeah? I feel so yeah. sad. Awesome. I'm, I'm really well, sad. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Thanks for okay, being thank here. You, okay. thank, thank you. Thank you. We have Todd Dwarf. Hello. What's your name? Phoenix Gautier. Phoenix Gautier. Yeah. Phoenix, have you done theater before? N not as professionally as this one. Really? Like, how does it make you feel being Cogsworth when you were cast as Cogsworth? Oh, I was so excited. At first I wanted to be Chip, and then Miss Verity was like, no. <laughs> and she gave me the scripts for Cogsworth, so I was like so happy. Oh my goodness. And what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade. I love yes. your outfit. Oh, that's beautiful. Are you sad today's last, or closing night? Um... No, I, I think I'm kind of happy a little bit yeah. because like all our work has finally paid off and we get to do this last big show. Right. And, you know, we get to take a break, unwind for a change. So. Has it been a good journey for you? Yes, it has. Yeah. Ms. Verity and the crew and the cast have taught me a lot. I'm surrounded by a lot of seniors so they can help me throughout these years of my rest of high school and the rest of my life so it's so fun. What's next for you? Any more musicals in the horizon for you? Of course. I will be in all the upcoming ones that you see at Carson High School so come watch and support because I'm I'm gonna be ready thank you so much thank you hi my name is Raphael de Dios I was LeFou for opening cast of Beauty and the Beast wow and what are you today currently I am a dish towel as you can see <laughs> I, really, I really like it so have you done theater before 
Um, I have started doing theater in high school and I learned about performing arts and how to be an actor and whatnot. Now, what grade are you in? Um, I am a senior at Carson High last Yay. year. And so what's next for you on the horizon? Any, any more theater in the future for you? I would love to just go out, travel, learn about performing arts, discover my tribe, and just find out what I'm really interested in. You know? Awesome. Are you sad today is the last, or closing night? Um, it's a little bittersweet. You know, I had a lot of fun, but at the end of the day it has to end. Yeah. But I like it. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on Thank the show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah Michelle Gway. What grade are you in? I'm a senior here at Carson High School. And then what's your role? Oh, I play Babette. Oh my gosh. Butter is Duster. this cute? Now, are you a theater major? Yes, yes. Where are you going to go after this? Well, I'm stuck between either NYU or USC, awesome. so I haven't tapped in yet. And you've got such, you've got like charisma oh, and attitude you. on the stage. You're just perfect for the for the stage you want to keep going further yeah back. yeah of course i want to be able to like um a major in theater performance but also i want to get like a minor in directing and stuff awesome. learn how to direct do stuff behind the scenes perfect well thank you for being on the show thank everybody. you so what's your name jeffrey anderson jeffrey anderson yes. and you are the music director here yes that's right you're at carson so tell me how does it feel to be part of carson in this wonderful program and how it has it flourished um it's fantastic i mean I was here a little bit before Mrs. Barity, our, music, our um, theater director, came in. Um, I was in the Carson Band. I came to school here. I'm an alumni. Me um, too. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, we didn't have much of this when I was here. Um, to see the fact that it's come this far, and th I, three years ago we started our first production with um, mm -hmm. Little Shop of Horrors. Mm -hmm. It's a great one. Musically, it's not too demanding, but challenging enough where we could, you know, challenge them a little bit. Um, next year was The Wiz, which was really fun, good tunes in that one. And then this one is kind of just like a notch above the rest. Um, it's the demanding. Talent, the talent, right? Exactly. And they, the fact that they've grown so much and were able to pull this off successfully, um, the sets, um, the music, the everything, the acting, it's really demanding in this one. Uh, it's a tough one. And it's familiar. People know it. So for them to pull this off as well, they have. I'm super happy, I'm super proud. I'm here with Dr. Rory Pullen, Senior Executive Director of Arts Education, Los Angeles Unified School District. Dr. Pullen, thank you so much for being here. It was my honor to be the guest of Carson High School for an amazing performance of Beauty and the Beast. It certainly was. Talk about the program and about the arts program and how you see it moving forward. Well, you know something? Beauty and the Beast really exemplifies the level of excellence that we are looking for in all of our schools. These young people are so talented, from the administration to the teachers, the directors, the producers, everyone did a fabulous job. This is why it is so important for us to continue investing in the arts, because not only was this an artistic success, but this helped students in every aspect of their high school career and then moving on to the next level. So in this district, we want to make certain that we have all of the resources that are needed to put on this level of excellence and quality. Why? Because our students deserve it. Absolutely. How was it to feel, or how was it when you saw the production come to fruition? I'm sure that you've heard kind of the ups and downs that went on, but how it came together and how the staff, the, the, the parents, and the students, and the cast members, how they pulled it all together. Wasn't it just a beautiful production? It was absolutely amazing. You know, the production was fabulous, and the students were, were incredible, but to hear the stories of sacrifice by so many individuals, by the parents who are out there working behind the scenes to bring all this together, from the teachers to the volunteers to everyone that makes it happen, to an administration that is committed to these young people, to the administration that's committed to these young people and the student success. To see it all come together, despite the obstacles, despite the challenges, they were not going to be denied the opportunity to bring this to the community and the community really showed up. Absolutely. Thank you so much Dr. Pullins for being here for and for all your support and for moving the education program forward. It is our privilege and when we have young people like this it is so easy to support. Thank you.
Thank you very much. You bet. I'm here with Dr. Wendy Warren, who is Carson High School principal. Dr. Warren, thank you so much for being here and for being the wonderful supporter of the arts. Oh, believe me, it's my pleasure. It's the, we had four shows this weekend, and I came to three of them because it was so much fun. <laughs> so talk about the arts program, the performing arts program or theater program. What is the proper name of it, actually? Our, our, we have an academy called Performing Arts and Media Academy, and uh, they started as the underdog about four years ago, and now they are just amazingly blossomed because we have so many talented and hardworking teachers, and obviously students, if you've seen any of the show. So, uh, so talk about the production itself. I'm sure it's, it's, it's like watching your child grow, you know, and, and, and coming, watching things come to fruition from st soups to nuts, basically. Talk about that and talk about the process and how long it's been and, and, and how much you've seen it grow. It's amazing. Uh, Miss Barity, the director, I actually, she uh, worked at Dodson Middle School. My own son was under her, so I saw her talent. And when she uh, hinted at me that she wanted to come to high school, it's like, oh, really? Uh, so she jumped in, started D-Task, uh, Thespian, uh, the Shakespeare competitions. Um, they just jumped in and started with some very raw talent. And the kids were like, what, huh? Many of them had never even read Shakespeare. Uh, never performed and and that's each year she's just brought them up and not only she but again many hardworking staff our, our parents we have a parent very very strong parent support group who has uh, also worked behind the scenes uh, so the kids uh, you know from not being able to hardly sing a note to now they're just they're carrying the leads uh, we have so many amazing stories of so many kids um, just coming up not only uh, in their talent, but also this talent has increased their academic performance. Because when they're engaged in school, and that is our goal at Carson, um, they're engaged in their academics. And a lot of these kids are now looking and, and acquiring scholarships at college where they never had that before. So so how, are, how can the community get involved and how are you asking people to contribute? First of all, by coming to see. Um, just when you don't know what's there, you don't know how great it is. And when you come and see, then you want to stay. And uh, like this show is, you want to always be our guest here at Carson. And that's what we're asking, uh, to first come and see, then stay involved. Uh, I've been telling the parents from day one here at Carson is, your kids are never too old to stay, stay involved. Um, so time, money, of course, because all this stuff is very, very expensive, but more your heart and giving and coming and see. Thank you so much for your interview and for being here. I'm a Carson High School alum as well, so for me to come back and see this wonderful production and see how the program has really bloomed and, and what, how, poten well, how much potential it has, I'm super excited. So thank you. Thank you for bringing back memories for me. So it's been a wonderful experience. Thank you. Thank you for being our guest. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I hope you enjoyed some of the interviews that we brought to you here at Carson High School and the performance of Beauty and the Beast. As you can tell, there are ways to get involved and ways to contribute to the Performing Arts Academy at Carson High School. So be sure to check the links in the show notes. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to check back often as we will bring to you more Celebration Awareness and more Annie Talks podcasts. And thank you all so much for tuning in. Keep listening to Annie Talks. This episode of Annie Talks is brought to you by... Luxwear Trends, affordable, luxurious timepieces for every occasion. Luxury that lasts forever, and that's what sets us apart from others. Find them on Facebook and Instagram or visit luxwearetrends.com. That's L-U-X-E, wear, trends.com. <laughs>